Hi, I am going to show you my favorite books for preschoolers and your early readers, so like grade one, two. So uh, starting off, I think I'm going to show you our Lift the Flap Very First Questions and Answers series. So these books are great for answering questions and getting um, information across to your young kiddos uh, in a fun way. So this one's why do we need a potty and it asks the question and then it has a flap to answer. So it goes through all sorts of questions that they might have. What is a potty for? Can I play with my potty? How do I wee in my potty? How do I poo in my potty? When can I use a big loo? Now these books, of course, are uh, designed in the UK, so that's why we and loo are in here, but it's cool. Introduces them to some new vocabulary. So these ones are awesome. Why do we need a potty? What is poo? Bestseller. Often out of stock because it's so popular. What is snow? This one's beautiful. Love this one. What are germs? Really important in our world right now. So all really great uh, introductions to some facts. So that's the youngest series, the very first questions and answers. Then we go to the next level, first questions and answers. Same format, a little bit bigger book and a little bit more information. So for example, why do tigers have stripes? And it talks about different things like camouflage and things like that all through flaps so how many humps does a camel have if you look underneath it tells us one or two i only have one i'm a dromedary camel and i live in africa i have two i'm a back back tree back tree camel and i live in asia okay, so it gives information about all sorts of things. So we've got lots of different ones in here. Why do tigers have stripes? How do I see? What makes it rain? Why do we need bees? All sorts of great ones in that series. That brings me to another series that I love, um, the Peep Inside series. So again, lots of different flaps. Peep Inside's are non-fiction starting introducing to facts and they have all these cool little flaps and little cutouts uh, to interact with. So there's the Peep Inside series that has like Peep Inside Animal Homes, Peep Inside Forest, Peep Inside Space. Um, there's a bunch of different ones and then there's also the Peep Inside Fairy Tale series. So these are the traditional fairy tales. This one's Sleeping Beauty and gorgeous laser cutouts. These are absolutely stunning. And they're, they're pretty sturdy pages, board pages, so they're pretty durable. And goes through the story. Sometimes they have little flaps and things. Like for example, we have a flap here on the castle. You can see inside the tower. And there's another nice cutout flap here look behind the bushes. Great ones. So we've got Sleeping Beauty, Princess and the Pea, we've got Little Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, lots of different ones. Are you coming in to help? Huh? Are you coming to help me? Mm -hmm. Now the next series is the Look Inside series. So this is the step up from the Peep Inside. So a little bit bigger book and more information. So uh, Look Inside Hospital. Yeah, all sorts. Look at all these flaps to open. There's just so many things to learn. And sometimes the whole page is a flap, folds out, and it goes through all sorts of information. So these are great for learning about the world. So look inside hospital, we've got look inside wild weather, look inside food, look inside your body. Uh, lots of great ones. The next series up is the see inside series, which is the next step up which I think is more for your you know grade three and up but depending on the kid 
even your younger kids might like them. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we have the pop-ups. Okay, so here we have pop-up fairy tales. And they're just awesome. You can see how they pop out. As you open, the characters move. So this one is Cinderella, of course. And she is running away. Okay. We've got three little pigs. And then we just have other pop-ups like Pop-Up Jungle. So lots of fun with these ones. Pop-ups. What else do we have? This one is kind of a standalone at the moment. Things to spot. Big book of things to spot. I love this one because it contains a bunch of our other books. So the first section is a thousand and one animals to spot. So for example, on the farm, it has a nice farm scene and then it has things you have to look for. It has numbers. So you have to find three puppies, five ducks, nine ducklings. So it introduces counting and that ability to find detail within a picture. So this book has so many different ones. Lots keep them busy for hours. Then we have my, probably one of my most favorite Usborne products are the magic painting books. Okay, so there's paint with water, no mess, uh, and you make beautiful pictures. So, and each book comes with this flap so you can put this behind the page that you're painting so the other pages don't get wet or they tear out nice and easy too. So you can tear them out. Uh, I've used these as um, birthday party favors or Valentine's. I just take a page out of the book, roll them up, and put them with their Valentine and a little paintbrush from the dollar store. And every kid has a magic painting page. So tons of different ones here. We've got Cinderella, unicorns. I love the woodland one. We've got fairy gardens. We've got dinosaurs. We've got um, Rapunzel. We've got mythical creatures, bugs, fairies, all sorts of different things. So love the magic painting books. We also have the snap cards. So many different ones of these. I want one of these. <laughs> this is Hudson's uh, monster truck snap. So you can play the game of snap, which is basically like war almost. Um, I do that but you can now. You can also do go fish, you can do old maid, you can do memory match, lots of different I'll do that. Can I take some cards out so people can see them? No, I'll do it. Well, I just want to show them. So every set has uh, four of each card. And the, I'll this one, one. This one. This one. This mine. Can I just show them one, please? Why? And every card has a name on it. So it can also be used for learning reading. So we have things like animals and colors and shapes and um, unicorn, princess. We have all sorts of different kinds of snap. So there's, these are great. And they're fairly sturdy no, don't cards. Okay, can you take these for mom? Okay. Okay. We've also got uh, wipe clean books, which are great. Okay, so we've got the Little Wipe Clean series, which are smaller books. These smaller don't markers. match. Those don't match, you're right. And these ones have like words to copy to printing. We've got just the alphabet, more word books, first words, numbers, on the farm oh. word book. So those are our Little Wipe Cleans. And then we have the bigger ones with lots as well. These ones are great. There's like the first drawing where it's just learning how to trace and developing pen control. We've got numbers, one to 10. So it gets them to interact with the different numbers, helps them learn to write them, tracing. First puzzles again, so things like mazes and matching things like that. So there's Lost in Space Maze. There's 
are the missing shapes in the balloons or introducing sort of early concepts like shapes and numbers and things like that. This one is get ready for school. It has ABCs and one, two, three in it. So it has numbers one, two, ten, I believe. Yep. And then the letters of the alphabet, upper and lower case. Yeah. So things to do with those. We've got travel puzzles, shapes and patterns, little letters. And then I love the activity ones. This is the farm activities. There's jungle activities, pirate activities, um, animal activities. There's so many different ones. And these have a good mixture of things like spot the difference, drawing, matching, um, mazes, counting, all sorts of different things. So here's an example of what you might see. So love the wipe cleans. Use them over and over again. Just wipe them off and they're good to use again. Uh, what have I missed? Oh yes. We've also got this book. I think everybody should have this book, Miss Molly's School of Manners. I don't know about you, but my little man sometimes forgets manners and needs a reminder. So he says, this is the story of a little raccoon named Algernon and how the events of one strange day made his bad manners good. So it goes through learning all about different kinds of manners, which I think is really important. We've also got first coloring books, which are great. They're really simple pictures like this, where they learn to color in lines and it's not overwhelming to have to color a whole page. There's also ones like this, a little children's coloring book. Again, just simple part of it that needs to be colored. We've got little first stickers or little sticker dolly dressing. These are great little sticker books. I love sticker books for developing fine motor skills. They learn to really manipulate their fingers. So we've got things like Cinderella, little sticker dolly dressing. We've got like diggers and cranes, horses and ponies, pets, you name it. There's tons of them. And then that brings me to more of the reading side of things. So um, our reading series has phonics books, which are amazing. They're rhyming stories. They're super funny little stories. The illustrations in them are to die for, um, and they're quick. They're great for bedtime stories, and they're awesome for your kids who are just learning to read. So, for example, Iguana's Bananas. You'll see. Iguana Coos, Toucan. Have you heard the news? Sloth fell from his tree when having a snooze. So we get the rhyming and really important skill for kids to learn how to read is rhyming. So there's individuals. We do have box sets usually. They're all out of stock at the moment. We have collections like this where you have 10 stories in them. So this one has 10 different stories or eight different stories. And this one in includes a CD for anybody who has CD players. You can actually have the stories read to them. So I love the phonics. I think every kid needs a set of these for sure. Then we have our uh, reading program. So this is the very first reading series, uh, which are getting at really beginning pieces of the reading. So it gives you how to use the book. Okay, so for example, you as the adult read these words, the child reads these words. So it's a dual reader. And it starts out really simple. Okay, so the adult reads the smaller print, child reads the bigger. And then at the end of the book, has some guidance notes for you as an adult and questions and answers. It has some puzzles for them to do for comprehension. Okay, and it also has the answers. So we have the very first reading series. Then it goes up to the first reading series, which gets a little bit more complex. And there's a whole bunch in the series. You can see in the front of the book, it has a bunch of them. And it has this story is about. So you can see the text gets a little bit more advanced from the very first reading. 
then we have, go up to like first reading, uh, this is first reading level one. So I should have shown you this one first. Okay. And then as you go through first reading level one, two, three, uh, they get a little bit more complex. And then we go on to the young reading, which I think is more for your more competent developed readers. Also love the collections, like 10 minute bedtime stories. Like they have great little stories in them to read before bed. And they have, um, they're just quick stories. So content, some great stories in there. Um, Poppy and Sam has been reimaged this year. This is a collection of the animal stories which you can buy individually or you can buy them in a collection like this which are great for story time. We've got fairy tales for little children, Little Red Riding Hood, Goldilocks and Three Bears, Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, The Princess and the Pea, and We've got nice, bright illustrations, not too many words on a page, great for uh, you to read at bedtime or for your little budding readers to start reading as well. We've also got picture books, nice big. These are great for reading, uh, sitting on the couch reading together or reading at bedtime when you are laying together. So they're just gorgeous. Jungle Book, Old MacDonald Had a Farm, Story of Baby Jesus, Wizard of Oz. There's so many great ones. And last but not least, I know some of us have kids who are like fact monsters and just want to know everything about everything. That's where our beginner series comes in. We have the young beginners, which are a little more simple than the beginners. So this one's all about bugs and learning about bugs. The beautiful illustrations to teach them all about different bugs. There's a few young, re um, young beginners. And then the beginner series is the next level, uh, which has more great information. Gives the scientific names of things. They're all great. And some of the beginners have more photographs than illustrations. So this is our weather one. And honestly, this would fit in my grade five classroom uh, to learn about weather. Simple text for those struggling readers, great for beginner readers as well. So we've got things like bats, elephants, lots of history based ones like the Maya. So if you have a fact monster at home, the beginner series is where you need to be. And I think that's it. I know that was a lot. <laughs> so that's for my preschoolers and early readers. Hope you find something you like. Let me know if you need help. Have a great day.